bad, is it? But there's an old Hollywood saying that more gangsters and cowboys died as a result of shell shock than from real bullets. Well, that's as may be. But doctors do warn that if you expose yourself to noises too much above 120 decibels, you could cause yourself permanent ear damage. A low-flying jet coming in over the rooftops will be about 110 decibels. Well, according to this sound meter, that was about 160 decibels. Now, the gun is a 0.5 Browning machine gun, and it's a pretty ugly weapon. But these made it sound just like a toy. They're called ear defenders. And what makes them so different from ordinary ear plugs or ear muffs is that they let the sound of an ordinary speaking voice through. You can even use a telephone without taking them off. It's only when noise levels go above the 95 decibel level, that's about the same as a noisy motorbike passing you in the street, that these really begin to take effect. Basically, they're a very simple idea. Inside each earpiece is a microphone under this plastic cover. The microphone is attached to a, a transistorized amplifier with a built-in limiting device. And this, in turn, is linked to an earphone inside here. A battery in the top here powers the whole thing, and this is the on and off switch. I've had one adapted with an extra microphone so that you'll be able to hear what I hear. I'll just switch it on. Now listen to this. Now these have been specially designed by explosives experts at the Ministry of Technology for people working all day in very noisy conditions, like gunnery instructors on shooting ranges or workers in heavy industrial plants with lots of crashes and bangs going on around them all day. These people tend later in life to go deaf. One of the most dramatic ways of testing anything like this is to take it inside an enclosed space and have an explosion go off inside with you. This way the noise level is likely to reach anything up to 190 decibels and that's enough to burst your eardrums. I'm going to try it. <laughs> 